Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kat. Um, today I have a um, review and swatches um, of the new Juvia's Place palette. I was gonna do um, uh, also um, like one or two looks with the palette, but then um, the video was going to be too long, so I shot it in two parts. So um, tomorrow um, I'm going to put up the tutorial part, but um, to this part is just going to be a review, swatches, um, what I think of the palette, all that good stuff. So um, I um made it known uh since my first uh Juvia's Place video that Juvia's Place is I think the best eyeshadows out on the um market right now and they are insanely affordable and the um quality is so good um and they're cruelty free which is awesome and I wonder how they can keep the quality and the pigmentation of the eyeshadow so amazing for such an affordable price because um their palettes i don't think they go more than like 25 dollars and there's always codes out there to use so um yeah you can get a palette for um very, uh, you know, very affordable prices. So the palette that I got is the Afrique palette, and this is what the box looks like. Um, I love the orange coloring, and then they always have, you know, a beautiful um, wo uh, woman in traditional African um, dress, and then um, the back just says, you know, the information, it's uh, made in the PRC, People's Republic of China, um, and um, yeah, it just, you know, basic information. Um, the first ingredient is talc, so um, if you are um, allergic to talc or that's a concern about uh, concern to you, um, there is talc in the eyeshadows, but um, that doesn't bother me. So let me show you what the palette looks like. This is, again, the you get the beautiful artwork and this really lovely orange color. And then when you open it, you get this really cool pattern. And then I wish they didn't use this blue. I wish they used the orange because, I don't know, I feel like the blue just makes it a little cheaper looking. I don't know. I'm just... I'm not feeling the blue. I wish they would have kept the orange theme going with the uh, palette, but um, that's like really nitpicking. Um, the shadows that are in this palette are beautiful. Um, you get 12 shadows, and um, the total net weight is 12 grams or 0 0.63 ounces. Um, the expiration, uh, time is 24 months, and that is my cat Delphine. Um, and then let me, uh, see, read, uh, some of the math to you. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. So, um, like I said, the palette is $20. I got it, um, on Ulta.com. You can get also at you can get it also at their website. Um, the codes only work at their website. Um, and uh, yeah, I got I went through Ulta because I wanted the points, and I think they're doing like um, I'm a platinum member, so it's like you get you get five time the points than normal. So I went with um, with uh, Ulta to get it. So, uh, yeah, it's $20, you get 12 shades, and, um, 
they said um, online that um, a true representation of beauty, art, and glamour, a carefully curated selection of greens, blues, and deep reds. So, um, which is true, um, and since it's $20, uh, for the palette, if you break it down, it's go, it, uh, ends up being a dollar sixty six per pan, which is very affordable. Um, the, um, net, the, um, net weight for each pan is, um, 1.5 grams or, uh, 0 0.9 ounces. Um, and then if you wanted to get into the wholesale prices, it's a dollar 11 per gram and then... $31.74 per ounce. And then um, let me swatch them and we'll go over um, what the colors are and stuff. So I'm going to go from left to right and I'm going to go this, start with this row, then this row, then this row. So. This is the colors. This color is Cote d'Ivory. This orange is Dakar. The green is Niger. And this um, metallic foil green is Togo. And then let me swatch them. The So that is the top row. They um, say Cote d'Ivory is a matte Persian blue. Dakar is a matte terracotta. That's Dakar. Um, Niger is a matte shamrock green. And Togo is a shimmering or a jade shimmer and that is what I have on my um lids and in my crease I have um Niger okay so then the second row is let me get my uh baby wipe these are very pigmented so I gotta definitely wipe them off my finger so I don't cross contaminate Okay, so this is the second row, and then this is left to right. Okay, so this is the second row. This color is called Bintu, and that is a matte burgundy. Then we have um, some Katsunu, I'm sorry if I butchered these names, I'll leave the names of all the colors down below, which is a Violet Shimmer, which is this color, then we have this matte yellow, which is called Aya, which is a matte lemon yellow, and then the last color is Cameroon, which is a matte camel. That is Cameroon right there. Then the last row, we're going to swatch. I, I love that um, with Juvia's Places, palettes also they put like the right amount of colors and neutrals um i would all describe juvia's place palettes like as a colorful palette with a pop of neutral which um i don't mind um it's not the end of the world if um you know the whole palette isn't full of color, but I don't like it when it's just, you know, one or two colors and then all neutrals. So, 
That's why I also like Juvia's Place. Okay, so then we have the last row. So this color is called Angelique. It's a peach shimmer. The next color, Kisi, is my skin tone. So um, let me show you a concentrated swatch of it. That's it right there. See, it's really close to my skin tone, and I'll swatch it. See, it's right there. It's very close to my skin tone. So that's Kisi. And then Fifi is a beet red um, shimmer. And then the last color is Kofi, which is a medallion gold shimmer. And um, I think this palette is beautiful. Um, one or two of the mattes are a little um, sheer and need to be built up. That's um, the blue color Cote d'Ivory. And um, the yellow color is a little bit patchy, but um, if you wear a primer and build it up... Sorry, my allergies are killing me. It has been raining nonstop the past few days in New York. But... Um, yeah, if you use a primer and just build up those two colors, they don't look patchy um, if, with the finished look. So I really like this palette. I mean, I like all of Juvia's uh, Places palettes. Um, even on Ulta, it has a five-star rating, which I totally agree with. Um, I love that... Um, Juvia's Place is um, owned by a black lady, so the colors are always going to be pigmented. They're always going to work on the deepest of deep skin tones to the lightest of light skin tones, and I really like that the brand is very inclusive with the eyeshadows and that they're so affordable and that they're cruelty-free and... Um, yeah, I really like Juvia's Place. Um, this isn't sponsored. I paid for this palette with my own money. I've paid for every Juvia's Place palette with my own money. I own every Juvia's Place um, eyeshadow palette. I own the two blush palettes. I don't own any of the liquid lipsticks or the single blushes or their brushes. But um, I would like to try some of their liquid lipsticks and their single blushes. So um, that's on my um, wish list for the future. Um, so yeah, I would definitely pick up this palette. It's $20. It's affordable. You get 12 really great shades. You get some neutrals and some colors, so if you're afraid of color, you have those neutral shades in there, so you can just do a pop of color, or you can do, like what I have, a bright, colorful look. So I definitely um, agree with the five-star rating, and I love the palette. And, um, yeah, do you guys um, like Juvia's Place? Are you going to pick this palette up? Do you have any of their other palettes? Um, what do you think of them? I think they are, like, the best eyeshadows out there. So um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Um, I'm going to put up, um, like, a, um, hopefully I'll have the um the uh the tutorial um of the looks that um I did edited tomorrow so I'll be able to put it up tomorrow but if not it'll be up in the next day or two and I will have a video I will have a video of something for you guys up tomorrow so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye YouTube